Now, you know, I, I don't want to move the conversation on because you, 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 you drop in, even though it's funny, it's they, somebody, somebody out there, they, they, they're at the beginning of their career, they're at 91, where you was in 91, they're there right now, they're sick. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you, you, we done talked about the Chris Rocks, the Dave Chappelle's. We talked about Mark Curry, um, DL, Hughley, um, just so many of the greats, Bernie Max. But we also talked about that rapper who put up a song on Thursday and by, by <laughs> Friday, he, he's an overnight six. It don't work like that. Yeah. You look at the man to celebrate in 30 years in the business mm -hmm. and, and you hearing the, the, the turmoil you and you hearing how long it takes to get to that mountaintop. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we live in a crazy world where everything is on demand. It's the, the microwave society. It's people. instant. That's what the whole Instagram, you know, people yes. are literally sleeping on their mama couch with a blue check that they verified. <laughs> Signing autographs. Like they're truly talented. The internet has found a way to make uh, a lot of untalented people with no clue uh, famous or, or found a way to get a little money here and there. But the, 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 the key word is Insta. And nothing in life uh, is instant most of the time when it comes to talent, when it comes to putting a lifetime of work heart, energy, uh, blood, gu guts, and glory into a craft. It, it, it becomes a point in your life that you cannot cheat the process. People ask me all the time, does it bother you when these little internet comedians are on the show? I'm like, absolutely not. I don't care if you told me the nigga had 300 million followers. He ain't funny like me. And he'll find out real quick when you hand him the mic. Great. Um, I just did a show recently, and they're like, hey, we have a little internet sensation here tonight, and uh, can he go up and do five minutes for you? I'm like, nigga, no problem. Like, like really? You know he has five million dollars? I, I, I don't care, right? I see the dude, five million followers, he ain't got five minutes of jokes. You understand? And the crowd can tell the difference. No, he's one of them Instagram niggas. Stop saying you're a comedian. There's a difference. Anybody can trip and fall on some funny for 30 seconds. You know what I mean? My yeah. whole thing is I have respect for those guys that treat this, to treat this craft like it's a craft. I just thought, because I don't want any of the young generation to think I'm hating on them. And trust me, if I was that dude and they had social media back then, I, I bet Nick would have 300 million followers. You know what I mean? But if you still work on your craft, I respect that. You know, cats like DC Young Flies and yeah, Reed yeah. Brown and Lewis Bell, guys that started off on the internet, but they realize stand-up is a whole nother beast. Uh, nothing but respect for those guys. You know what I mean? But the truth, you, you can't, comedy is one thing you can't fake. There is, you know, rappers can fake it. You can actually be hot garbage and suck. But if a nigga puts a beat behind you, you can fool everybody with a hit song. You can't fool nobody with comedy. No, Nigga. It's, it's only you and the mic in that crowd. And they're going to tell you what they feel, whether you like it or not. You up there butt naked with no producers, no lighting technicians, there's no hair, makeup, wardrobe. It's all you, bro. Damn. Um, you know, I really hope that. It's always been known. It's always been known, though. Like, it's a fact. Way before us, way after us. Comedy has always been known as the hardest art form in the entertainment business. So I didn't make that up. That's just a fact. Yeah, I mean, yo, do you know how hard it is to make somebody laugh consistently? You know, just like, put yourself right now in front of 300 strangers. I know people that have a tough time walking into a restaurant, somebody's house and shaking hands and having a conversation with a brand new person. That's my job. I have to go into a room full of strangers every night of my life and let alone more than just say hello. I gotta make you like me for an hour. Try that. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.